So moving on to our next topic at hand. Um, so this next topic we're talking about. Uh, so last week, Greg, you were Disney. Or I told you you were Disney five times in a row. Um, <laughs> but today, the ver uh, uh, sorry, the verge, uh, reality.com, uh, written by uh, Brian C Crescente, Disney says it's never been good at video games, remains happy with EA's work. The Walt Disney Company had a good, a good relationship with Electronic Arts and has no interest in returning to video games, something with which it was never able to demonstrate much skill, CEO Bob Eager said in an earnings call Tuesday. Quote, We're good at making movies, television shows, and theme parks, and cruise ships, and the like we just never imagined to demonstrate much skill on the publishing side of games. Igor said in response to a question about Disney's potential future and involvement in the video game development. The Walt Disney Company has been shedding its video game development and publishing interest almost as long as it has been in the business of making interactive entertainment. Over the course of decades, over the course of, over the course of decades, weird typo, uh, Disney has created and purchased studios and publishers only to later shut down, uh, later, uh, to later uh, them shut down. In 2016, Disney discontinued the highly regarded Disney Infinity franchise, uh, closed down the developer ending in all self-publishing efforts. The effort continued in 2018 with the closing of Club Penguin Island and the sale of Emojis Blitz. Walt Disney, part of EA in 2013, gaining the, granting the developer exclusive video game rights to Star Wars franchise. The decision was thrown into question recently with EA's handling of a number of Star Wars games. Star Wars Battlefront 2 came under fire for its use of questionable microtransactions and loot boxes, and EA recently announced it killed off one of its games, uh, turn it, uh, turning it into one smaller project. So, uh, Disney is fine. Disney is okay with uh, what EA, with how they're doing the business with Star Wars games. Um, mm -hmm. I, they're, they're Interesting. Either they're happy with it, or they don't know what's going on. Ironically, I will, th I will throw in, during that earnings call, um, EA was also having that at the same time as Disney was. Um, you know, just kind of throwing it out there, as far as, like, that weird situation for both companies. So, it's weird for them to say that, and also say, like, they had never had a good history with Star Wars games, and I would argue, like, there is a good handful of Star Wars games that are actually really good. Be bear in mind, there's a lot of crappy Star Wars games, too, if you look back at the history of Star Wars games. Oh, sure. Yeah. I argue that all the time, but, like, like you, you complain about Battlefront 2, like, people complain about this game being shit, but it's not bad. Like, there are aspects of it that I don't like either, like, I really don't like the card, the card system. But a, they've also changed that entirely. Like that's not the same as it was day one. Also, um, uh, it plays very fucking well. Um, now that being said, we know that EA kind of treats the Star Wars franchise poorly. We've seen it multiple yep. times. Yep. I don't know. Why I'm staring at my microphone, not my camera. Uh, <laughs> we know that they have a tendency to shut projects down before they can even get off the ground. Mm -hmm. um, and it fucking sucks because I'm sure that these Star Wars stories have been fantastic. And and I'd love to play them, but again, I, I don't get the chance to because the EA is like, well, it's costing too much because it's taking too much time or what the fuck ever they're thinking. Yeah. Um, I mean, I imagine that Disney's happy with, with what's going on because either, yeah, either EA is telling them what they want to hear or Disney's just seeing people playing the game or Disney's just seeing, like, the, the end product and they're just moving on. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, is Bob Iger actually looking at the reception of the games? Like, um, is, he, is he looking at the information? Like, there's so many questions into ab Absolutely, absolutely. And I can, I can read a bit more here. Here's another quote from him. Um, We're obviously mindful of the size of that business, Eeyore said. 
Uh, over the years, as you know, we tried our hand at self-publishing. We brought, uh, we bought companies, we've sold companies, we bought developers, we closed developers. And we found over the years that we haven't made, been particularly good at self-publishing side, but we've been uh, great at the licensing side, which obviously doesn't require that much allocation of capital. Since we're allocating capital in our on other directions, we just decided that the best place for us to be. In this, in that space of li in licensing and not publishing, we had a good relationship with some of those we're licensed to, notably EA, in the relationship on the Star Wars properties, and we're probably going to stay on that side of the business and put our capital elsewhere. So it's it, it, so it's weird. It it sounds to me like they care about the almighty dollar. Like I feel if they. Do not, because I thought that because of what happened with Battlefront 2, with the loot box controversy, you know, whether on one side or the other, the fact that it got global attention through the government of uh, not only the US, but the, uh, the UK, Belgium, Australia, to uh, legislate loot box and what have you, given it's all the bad publicity for the game. I would figure at some point, like Disney or somebody was looking at the situation and, like, you know, will say, like, you know, what the hell's going on over at EA. <sighs> actually, there was a phone call actually thinking about it from Disney to EA regarding that. So I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> why? Yeah, that's so weird. Why? I that is so weird. I guess it, do they just care about the bottom line? Do they not care about what the image of what EA is doing with the Star Wars brand? I guess. I, I... <laughs> yeah, this is this is weird. This is so weird. I guess. I think you might be right, Greg. I think they, I think that they're just hearing what they want to hear from EA. I think that EA is telling them what they want to hear. I think that maybe that. There's a lot yeah. of times I think Disney not give a shit as long as like there's money being made, and yeah. we know that there's money being made. So yeah, it's weird. It, it, it could be a combination of a lot of things, but it tells me the well, Disney's out there saying like, hey, we're fine with EA. So um, the thought of EA losing their licenses or their contract with Disney, that seems to not be happening after this interview or after the talks. It may change in the next couple of years. Who, who the hell might know? But from from here, from right now on the, it's on the 6th of the February 2019, Disney is fine with EA with the work they've done thus far with Star Wars. Uh, bad, uh, bad news be damned. So, we're gonna get more future Star Wars games probably, probably from EA or other oh, yeah, companies. Yeah, yeah. So, um, speaking of which, did, uh, uh, there, I guess there has to be a bigger shift. Absolutely, yeah, there has to be. Um, speaking of which, one of the, the Star Wars games it is coming out or it's said to come out this year is the uh, the one the by Respawn. Uh, they're making, um, what was it called? It was something Fall of Order. Jedi something Fall of Order. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> the name escapes me. Um, but that game is supposed to be coming out this year, the end of the end of the year of this year. Um, and we haven't seen anything about that. So, Jedi Fall in Order. Thank you, Fryman. Man. So yeah, that's supposed to be coming out this year, and what we'll wait and see? Um, you know, Respawn, who just recently put out Apex this past week, uh, which is a pretty good game. Um, from people who, who played it and from Greg, Greg and I talking about it in the pre-game show. Um, it, the, they have the chops to do it. it. I would love to see what that game is. And if anybody can do it, I, can, I believe in Respawn. They can, they can absolutely do it to make a good, a good Star Wars game. Um, yeah. But yeah, again, point point in the story is that Disney is happy with EA. Uh, take it wherever you will. Yeah, it's... it's, it's... <laughs> Weird news to hear, man. Yeah. Super weird news to hear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh shit, I forgot to I put that story in here. Fuck. Oh well. I knew I forgot something. Anyways, actually, I'll take that. I'll take this time anyways. Fifty seven, uh, fifty three seconds of some pointed out. Um, hang on. Boom, boom. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly just say that uh, Machinima is shutting down, or it has shut down and laid off its staffers. Um. I forgot to put this in, in, in here real quick, but I'll just very quickly 
Uh, this is by uh, Patrick Hypes off of, uh, what's it, what's it, uh, DeadlineHollywood.com. Machinima, which rose to prominence in influential and lucrative multi-channel networking, catering to the gaming culture, has laid off 81 employees and ceased operations. The company, which was acquired by Warner Brothers in 2016, the beginning of the 2019, was folded into Warner Media's uh, Ottered Media, uh, confirmed by uh, The Moves Friday. So, I, I, I could read the whole thing, maybe we get them, them, not that much time, so... But yeah, just some throw out there that Machinima is dead. So. Uh, well, yeah, that sucks. It really does, because I know a lot of people enjoyed working there, but also at the same time, yeah, the writing was on the wall on that one. Absolutely. And, you know, to, you know, the, to be uh, frank or to, uh, to be uh, transparent, we, we, we were part of Machinima for a little bit, um, but like left afterwards for after a while, uh, where we made more money on YouTube at the time. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they weren't having our content on Machinima's YouTube channel. Like, all of our content was on, on ours. We're just an affiliate with them, and they get and they paid us money for how many views we had on each video. We just had to put, like, Machinima stuff on our stuff uh, when we uploaded the video. So, full disclosure, we did work with them, but it wasn't anything, nothing more than paying us for video content that we hosted on our, our YouTube channel. So, all right. So, with that being said, Greg... Do you know what time it is? It's time for me to tell the internet why they're wrong. Absolutely. Give me one second here as I switch over.